Mm. They might be paying the guys 10k. They will mm. even increase your salary to 20k. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> this is a there secret. Is this, uh, <laughs> there is this uh, preferential treatment okay, for please. ladies in engineering. Hi guys, welcome back to the Studentship YouTube channel. Today I'm here live at the University of Nigeria. I'll be going around asking students, you know, information about their course of study. I can show you that you are going to find this video helpful. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. Okay, we're going to go. Okay, good afternoon. What's your name, department, and level? Okay, I am by name. Ogu Happiness Ujoma, a graduate of civil engineering. Wow, congrats. Yes, recent graduates though. Okay, okay. Yeah, from civil engineering, University of Nigeria, Osaka. Wow, wow. Uh, nice to meet you, Happiness. Thank you. So, what is uh, civil engineering as a course in university? We have foundation engineering. Okay. We have structural. We have um, geotechnics. Okay. We have uh, highway transportation and we have water resource, okay. environmental water resources. So the one that I specialized in in my final year okay. was uh, water, environmental water resource engineering. Okay. So this like, it's civil engineering is very cumbersome though. Yeah, very vast. Yeah, it's very versatile. Mm. But you just choose the one you can manage and do, you can understand and function better. Uh -huh. okay. So me, I specialized in water resource and environmental. Oh, nice. So why did you decide to study civil engineering? Was it a decision you made in your jam or it has been a childhood dream? Okay, it's, it, it, it's none of them. It's not, it's not my childhood dream. Okay. It's not a decision I made during my jam. Okay. Yeah, it was a decision I made when I was in SS2. Okay. Yeah, you know, since I was like, at least, let me say from 10 years old. Okay. Yeah. We've always been like my uncles and their wives, they have always maltreated us. That my father, the house that he built, that he used his father's block to build the house. So it's everybody's general house. Okay. And the house is kind of like three rooms and parlor. So it's not even containing us, his yeah. children. Talk more of containing everybody. So like all this whole fight, quarrel, insults and everything. Yes, so yes, yes. that thing now motivated me when I was in SS2. Okay. I wanted to study medical doctor before, but okay, yes, so but the last quarrel, you understand, made mm. me, I developed passion for civil engineering because they built house. Okay, yes, yeah, so yeah. it's because of uh, these uh, challenges I was having at home that yes. made me change my mind in school mm. that I want to study civil engineering. Although it wasn't <laughs> easy. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I did not know mathematics like that. Okay, okay. Let, okay, let me we'll come to this question. Do you think an average student, you know, from secondary school, there are some secondary schools that they don't even teach uh, calculus, you understand? So some students are average in physics, chemistry, mathematics. Do you think that category of students can study civil engineering at the university? Yes, if they are serious, they can study civil engineering. Okay. See, if if you have, if you, if any course is your passion, mm. if you have passion for any course, you can do it. The determination is if there. If the determination is there, even if they are not teaching you well in school, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. There will must be a particular student in that class that will even know more than the teacher. Okay, okay. After school, you can meet the student. Students he will explain, explain for you. Or in case, like in a scenario where you are not understanding at all, you can meet the teacher yourself. Yeah. Or you meet the principal, you open up mm. and tell them that this is what I want to do. Like it's taking courage. Mm. If you know that this is what you want to achieve, you take a step. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, every determination, every, um, every what, achievement, every achievement begins, you must take begins with yes, one step. The step. Uh -huh. So any average, any person, yeah, as long as, as you, you, you are as long as you are a science student, and you are ready to pay the price. And you are ready to pay the price mm. to study hard and focus. Yes. You can study civil engineering. How, how challenging was uh, civil engineering for you? Like, was there any time in school you felt like, nah, I want to give up? No. How, how challenging was it, like, try your stay in school? It was very, very challenging because, you know, because, you know, it was my passion. Nobody asked me to study, study it. Yes. Uh -huh. I decided on my own to study civil engineering. So okay. some of the challenges, I was just seeing it as a mere, like, a small mm, issue that time. I need to encounter yes. because I needed to make my father 
are proud. Okay. I needed to show those my uncles that he has, yes, <laughs> that he has bought somebody that can that build can house create. for him. Yes. So I just looked over the challenges. See, my second year, you understand, mm. like in my second year, it was very, very tough. Mm. Second year engineering, you have to do GS, have to do other <laughs> courses, have to do all the whole faculty of engineering, except to be as a, a civil engineering student. Okay. So, like it was very, very difficult. And each semester was 10 courses, each, mes each semester 10 courses. Mm. So for one year, we did 20 courses. It wasn't easy. Wow. So it was in that my second year that I have to sat down. <laughs> I have to ask myself this question for four hours. <laughs> do I need to continue or do I need to quit and just join NDA that I wanted to join before? <laughs> so I just on wow. my own, I decided to continue again because okay. <laughs> I saw many people having carryovers. Mm. So and I did not have one. So that thing that motivated me to just it's continue. Also possible to, to push yes. Over. You know, uh, as a, a civil engineering student, is it possible like to engage in other activities like let's say side also, you know, trying to make money for yourself or you just like you have to be focused on school only? Okay, as a civil engineering student, mm. basically when I was in first year, you understand, yeah. I followed politics. Okay. Uh -huh. So as a girl in engineering, mm. I found out that like people are really more interested in us than the men. Mm. And there's only politics that can teach you how to be presentable in public, how to talk and all these social gatherings, yes. how you can talk. So it's only politics that can enlighten you to to give you those experiences. So I now said, okay, oh, ah, let me just join this politics. politics. In my second semester, I said following political people that was in our final year civil engineering. So then in second year, I came out for, I okay, I made interest. I want to contest for faculty VP. Okay. Then in my third year, I contested full time for okay. faculty VP. Okay. So after I did not win, okay. I said doing peanuts business. Wow. Uh, so it's now a side hustle. <laughs> so as as I didn't win in that politics now, so yes. people were now supporting me, like saying, ah, she wasted a whole lot of money. <laughs> ah, yeah, she did not win again. So yeah. they were now dashing me money. So I wow. used all the whole money that I I made from that political stuff. Now. Yes. And I used it and start my peanut business. business. Uh -huh. So I was now using it because my brother is also in this school. Okay. He graduated with first class. So wow. I was now through that my peanuts business. I was now using it to support my brother as well. Wow. So the money my parents were sending to us, we are now small because of that my peanut business. Oh, wow, that is awesome. So peanut business is a very lucrative business. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that is it. Then in fourth year, mm -hmm. okay. After I joined politics, I, I like any political activity yeah, 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 in yeah. engineering, in department, SUG, mm. I joined them. So in my final year, I became the first girl to contest for faculty of engineering president. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so my four classmates contested with me, five, uh, four guys okay. contested with me. So yes. like, it was very, very challenging very though. <laughs> How can a girl, win because you know, it's when you win departmental, yes. you you now come out to faculty, For faculty. to yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. contest. So all this whole thing, like I almost gave up, but I just continued. Mm. If I see them, if I am talking to them, they don't know that inside me, I am already thinking of giving up. In fact, I've given up already, but the way I will just be acting and everything, yeah, yeah. they will think I have the <laughs> energy and everything. So A very big opponent. Yeah, I used my uh, character, my attitude to yeah, intimidate yeah. them. So like at the end of everything, I was appointed and uh, like I was selected as the best candidate to contest for okay, okay, from, the your, from, your from my department. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. So everybody started supporting me. Yeah, they stepped down and supported me. Yeah, yeah. So then at the final run, because they used 3.8 CGPA okay. to contest for the okay, faculty president. The benchmark, yeah. Uh -huh. So at the, every, at the end of everything, they still have to reduce it to 3.5. Okay. Some people still did not reach it, so I think there was a, an opponent from Metmat, ABE, Mechanica. Mm. So at the end of the screening, it was many me and the mechanical guy. Okay. So if you come to engineering, <laughs> at least that wave is there, a yeah. woman contesting. Yeah. But they don't know that this whole prize, a woman contesting, everybody is just interested in a woman contesting for faculty president. Okay. What gives her the moral? They did not know that this whole thing started when I was in first year. In first year. And nobody knows that I'm going to contest for all these things. Mm. So I think in anything you want to achieve, mm. just make sure that you are focused. Yes. You are determined. Mm. And always take a first step. 
because if I don't always open up. Yeah, because if I assistance. yes, if I don't tell you that I want to join politics, I was, I might not possibly contest for the faculty president okay, okay, till yeah. we graduated. Okay. So, but the election didn't hold. <laughs> that is it. Wow. You know now <laughs> gender inequality or what okay, should I okay. call it? Uh, the election didn't let her hold. They were now saying past administration didn't do well and all that. Okay. They even ended the student union in engineering that year. Okay, so it was this year okay. that they have to start again. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome that you made it thus far like for you to be a candidate just you and okay because yeah. probably you'd have won of course yes, you'd have won yes. so uh, uh, the, the winning probability was almost 90 percent on your side on my side wow. because the whole department the, the whole student in civil engineering mm. both my enemies and my friends yeah, are there, they, just, they were just there for me even our hod even all the whole lecturers mm. they were out for like <laughs> no, they were out yes right? because this is a kind of like a record that a yeah. student of civil engineering well, want to break yeah. so they are not just supporting me because it is uju they are supporting me because this is a record that have not happened in engineering before yes. that a lady in engineering wants to become the faculty president and the person is from civil engineering civil so engineering. everybody came out to support me yeah. so that because if i win it will be a win for all yes. not just my win yeah of course of course you know I, i've spoken with other students in civil engineering and they usually say this course is very demanding Sometimes there are lectures from 8 to 5, even uh, 8 p.m. So you said you did peanut business. Yes. So I want to ask, yes. how, 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 how were you able to combine your peanut business with your academics? Did it have any effects in your academics? You know, I am a night reader. You know, like as a student mm. or as one intending to become a student or an engineering student, okay. know what works for you. Okay. Do you understand? Uh -huh. I know. I knew from secondary school what usually works for me. I used to read in the night. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. And peanut business is a day activity. Day activity. Uh -huh. In class, I don't used to go to other faculties to sell. Them. In that my class, class, yes, yeah. my class we have 166 students. Okay. So in that my class, if I buy like 150 peanuts, okay. since I am friendly to all of them now, it has finished. Okay. So in fact, before I even go and buy, or okay, 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 okay you buy, you buy, you buy already made uh, peanuts. Sometimes I do buy already made. Peanuts. Okay. Sometimes I do make for yeah, myself, okay, yeah, okay, okay. myself. But the issue now is that why I used to buy already made peanuts is because any day that I did not have time to do, they will be demanding. Now you know this business something mm. is when people demand you supply. you supply. That's where your business. That's how your business will be yeah, moving, uh -huh. yeah, moving forward. Uh -huh. So, like, what was I saying? You can't be inconsistent with uh -huh. what you are saying. So, in uh, what works for me. Is night reading. night reading. So I'm a night like I used to go to night class okay. every day, and it does not used to affect me. Affect so I read in the night. Peanuts is an uh, is a day it's activity. A, yeah, yeah. So inside class, uh, while class is going yeah, on, just, I'll just sell my peanuts. Uh, I'll sell my peanuts and make my money. Okay. Then do my political business inside school so, during the daytime. Yes. In the night, around nine, I'll start reading till 3 a.m. Okay. I'll sleep, I'll wake up by five again, I'll start reading till 6 a.m. I'll start going to my wow, hostel. Wow, wow, wow. So uh, you know, this is awesome. Like, I, I love what I've heard so far. So lastly, so that I'll allow you to go. What advice do you have for a student that is passionate, that wants to study civil engineering at the university? Okay, my advice is this. As a girl or as a guy, okay, okay. mostly girls okay. that want to study civil engineering, just know that let's say let's say they used to say that there is always light at the end of the, the tunnel. tunnel. Just know that if you finish studying civil engineering, even from your IT, mm. they might be paying the guys 10k. They will mm. even increase your salary to 20k. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> this is a there secret. Is this, uh, <laughs> there is this uh, preferential treatment okay, okay. for ladies in engineering. Okay. If I tell you now I'm, uh, I'm in engineering, there is this kind of you like even you. among other girls, yeah, yeah, like, they, they will treat you with respect. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So one thing is that it is pain. Okay. It is a cost that every girl 
in the society mm. should think of studying. studying. Because whether you even know what you studied or you don't even know, <laughs> just graduate with a good grade. Yes. If you just tell people, I studied civil engineering, they will just, they will give you this attention. Yeah, even yeah. when they have not asked you any question, yes, they will just, yes. they, in fact, there's an automatic employment for you. Yeah. This is not the kind of course that you finish reading. You finish studying in university and you come out and start looking for a job again. Okay. Uh -huh. So far, when I was in, when I was looking for where I would do my IT, yeah. I just reached there, they interviewed me, the next day I said work. Express. Yes, but some of my other classmates, they did not even give them the opportunity <laughs> to be interviewed at all. Uh -huh. So that is it. Just have, and again, after we are now looking at the advantage, okay, we yeah. are done looking at the advantage, yes. then for one to become successful in civil engineering yeah. as a student, make sure that is your passion. In any course you want to study self, yeah. make sure that you aim it, like you, you have it in your heart that this is my passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not like my parents or my friends mm. or peer, peer group uh, pushing me to go and study yeah. it. Make sure that it is your what, your passion. Like you have passion for this, that whether good or bad, at the end, I must do it. Because if, if not for that passion that I had for civil engineering, seriously, it wasn't easy. <laughs> It's not easy yeah, to yeah. graduate, study it and graduate and everything. Yeah. Sometimes the sites work. Mm -hmm. If you run away from the sites work, to even sit down with a laptop and start uh, drawing, drawing houses, and it's still like it's still not easy. It's tedious. So it's still not easy to carry your book and start studying mathematics, uh, the Y, the X, for that mass and all. It's still not easy. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure that God is there. Always pray. Yes. Go to church go to fellowship don't be a triangular student maybe you go from church to fellowship to your hostel no attend also uh, some other social gatherings yes. be smart so that when people see you mm. you will just be smiling have a welcoming face okay. comport yourself yeah. uh -huh. so some people will even like you they don't even know who you are but the way you are dressed the way your you talk impression. yes your facial impression and adding again you study civil engineering mm. as a lady <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still, a very big advantage. Uh -huh. So as a lady thinking of studying engineering, make sure you have all these qualities. Wow. Wow, wow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You know, it's been nice talking to you.